This is a tale of intrigue and deception, of jealousy, pride, and passion, and it is not the bold and the beautiful. It is a saga of patience, loyalty, bravery and compassion, and it is not Dr. Phil or Oprah. It is the story of Prophet Joseph, may God shower him with his praises. The same Joseph known from the Andrew Lloyd Webber production of Joseph and the Amazing. Technicolor Dreamcoat, and the same Prophet Joseph known in Christian and Jewish traditions. God revealed this story to Prophet Muhammad when an Israelite asked him to tell him what he knew about Joseph. Opening square bracket. 1. Stories in Quran are usually told in small bit and made known over several chapters. The story of Joseph, however, is unique. It was revealed in one chapter, from the beginning to the end. It is the complete story and experience of Prophet Joseph. We learn about Joseph's joys, troubles and sorrows, and move with him through the years of his life as he arms himself with piety and patience and in the end emerges victorious. The story of Joseph begins with a dream, and ends with the dream's interpretation. We relate unto you, Muhammad, the best of stories through our revelations unto you, of this Quran. And before this, I, E, before the coming of divine inspiration to you. You were among those who knew nothing about it. Quote opening parenthesis. Quran 12. 3. Joseph's childhood. Joseph was young boy, handsome, happy and very much loved by his father. He awoke one morning excited about a dream and ran straight to his father happily explaining what he had seen in his dream. Joseph's father listened attentively to his beloved son and his face shone with joy. For Joseph related a dream that spoke of the fulfillment of a prophecy. Joseph said, O oh my father, verily, I saw, in a dream, eleven stars and the sun and the moon. I saw them prostrating themselves to me. Quote opening parenthesis. Quran 12. 4. Joseph was one of twelve brothers whose father was Prophet Jacob and whose great-grandfather was Prophet Abraham. This prophecy spoke of keeping Abraham's message to worship one true God alive. Prophet Abraham's grandson Jacob interpreted the dream to mean that Joseph would be the one to carry the light of God's house. 2. However as quickly as the joy had sprung into Jacob's face, it vanished, and he implored his son not to relate his dream to his brothers. Jacob said, O oh my son, relate not your vision to your brothers, lest they arrange a plot against you. Verily, Satan is to man an open enemy. Thus will your Lord choose you, teach you the interpretation of dreams and other things. Comma. 
and perfect his favor on you and on the offspring of Jacob as he perfected it on your fathers, Abraham, and Isaac aforetime. Verily, your Lord is all-knowing, all-wise. Quote opening parenthesis. Quran 12. 5-6. Jacob knew that his sons, Joseph's brothers, would not accept the interpretation of this dream or the advancement of Joseph over themselves. Jacob was filled with fear. The ten older brothers were already jealous of their younger brother. They recognized their father's particular affection for him. Jacob was a prophet. A man dedicated to submission to one true God and he treated his family and his community with fairness, respect and equitable love. However his heart was drawn to the gentle qualities evident in his son Joseph. Joseph also had a younger brother named Benjamin. Who? at this stage of the story, was too young to be involved in any of the trickery and deception brewing. 